In this video, we're going to take some time and explain the feature that is known as the pack multiplier in the software. Now, when we speak of packs, we're talking about those containers or holders for applications or material. So in a standard home, we would usually think of packs in the concept of phases of the project. So main floor, main wall, upper floor, and inside of those packs are all of the different applications and potential products that we might want to call for that particular phase. Now when it comes to a standard home or a single family takeoff, usually the pack multiplier won't find as much utility. But there are other situations where the pack multiplier is going to be very useful. One of those examples uh, or one of those types of projects would be buildings that have been created with units in mind. So if you have a multifamily project that has multiple buildings or even a single building but has made use of multiple units that are repeated throughout, the pack multiplier could be very useful for you in that situation. So let's take for example and say that we have a building that has a unit A, unit A end, a unit B, and a unit C. And maybe if we look at our plan, we would see that our unit A looks something like this. Pretty straightforward and basic, but the idea is, is that unit A is going to be repeated maybe 10, 15, even 20 times throughout the project. And by looking at the plan, we find that the repeating of it is going to be identical, that all the material is going to be the same every time unit A is used. So in that case, instead of needing to redraw all of that material or copy and paste it around, instead what you can do is just draw unit A once and then link it to the unit A pack like we've demonstrated here. So here you see we have 248 feet of joist, 108 feet of rim, and, and other items for it. And if we were to go to the report, review that, you'd see also that we have similar items that are on the report, 248 feet of joist, 180 rim, and those other items. But if unit A was going to be used, for example, 20 times, what we can do is right-click on the unit A pack, go to the set report multiplier, and then change that to something other than one. You can pick it from the drop-down menu, or if you need to, go ahead and just type in what you need. So let's say, if for this case, we want it to multiply unit 8 by 20 times. So we'll click OK, and in doing that, you'll see right away we get some feedback indicating that unit A will be multiplied times 20 in all reports. Now, if we expand the pack, you'll see, again, we have values only indicating of, of one unit, 248. 108. So no change actually happens in this view, in the list view of the pack. Where the change happens is, as it says, in all reports. So we'll go to File, View the List, and take a quick look. And now you can see the values actually are quite different for Unit A. We have nearly 5,000 feet of joist, over 2,000 feet of rim, and the other items have been multiplied as well. So any of the reports that you produce and print are going to have that result. And just to clarify a little bit further, let's go and take a look at framing layouts. In the framing layouts, we here we have a, a layout for unit A. And if we view that list, when we come to the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that <clears throat> clearly we only have material for that one unit. It's not been multiplied 20 times. So that won't ever change on the layouts themselves. Again, framing layouts won't have the multiplier in it. And when you're in the list pack, the view inside of the pack will just reflect one of the unit. But when you go to the reports, it will reflect the multiplier that's been put in place. And you can change that, add it in by using the set report multiplier. Another case or example where the multiplier may be useful would be in a mirrored duplex. So you still have all the phases of the project, like main floor, main wall, upper floor, but instead of drawing both halves of the building, which are essentially identical to each other, you could just draw one half 
and then set the multiplier to 2 so that when you produce your reports, you're getting all the correct material and it's just being doubled then to accommodate the copied or the mirrored half. So those are various ways that you can be using the pack multiplier feature inside of the pre-built software.